talk about also epigenetics. Talk to fun about that. What do you know about epigenetics? Okay, epigenetics is this. What is, how does that affect I really, I really like the epigenetics because sometimes people they say, okay, well, my parents have diabetes, my parents have uh, cancer or cholesterol or whatever, and it, they assume that they're going to have it. That's it. Done. Yeah, they think it's a, a dead sentence that they're going to have. Yes. And also, in, in epigenetic, the studies that they have done, they show that only 5% of the genetic is affected. Exactly. So you have a pretty disposition to that sickness or that, that illness. But epigenetics have into consideration everything else around you. Uh, your uh, environment, the toxins of your environments, whatever you eat, uh, whatever you think, uh, how is your emotional okay. state, yes. Uh, okay. So all those things again, so the epigenetic shows you that you can, um, you cannot alter your DNA, okay. but you can enhance your DNA. What does that mean? So it means like you don't have to have diabetes if your parents had it. So with everything else that you have around, so you can make your DNA healthier. Another way I learned how to approach that too when someone asked about genetics is we all have the same genes, right? Same genome yeah. where we're born with. Yeah. yeah, that's from our parents, comes down, genetic pool, blah, blah, blah. But if our, our environment outside of our body is positive and better for us, if there's a way to versus negative, it's positive, then those genes for diabetes, for cancers, for headaches, for back pain, for osteoporosis, they don't turn on. They don't, they don't turn on. They, they stay off because, but if you're in a negative environment, you eat poorly, you have bad, uh, food, you don't work out, you have bad thoughts all the time, or in a bad a mental environment, then they turn on. Yes. And that's how yes. you actually get to a medical condition for one, two, that then you need treatment for. Yeah.